Hello there, my dear friends. Myself is Professor Dr. Rajendra Desh Pandey. Today is the 26th of April 2019 and we are back in the serial Ayurved for All. My dear friends, we are talking about very important basic principles of Ayurved that is Dosh Dhatu Mala Mulam Hishiram. After understanding of the different types of Vata, Pitta and Kapha, I have started to discuss you about the Dhatus or the tissues and I have already explained you that all the dhatus, the dhatu word has origin in Sanskrit as a dhru dharayati. Remember, dhru dharayati, what does it mean in English? Dharanak, that means to hold, to maintain, to protect, to nutriate. All these terms are mentioned by the term only dharayati. Our body is maintained from birth to death because of the actions of the bioenergies, that is true. But as a structure, as a framework, as a building, as an infrastructure, which are the elements necessary? Those infrastructure, that infrastructure is made up of body tissues. They are seven in number according to Ayurveda. Rasa, Rakta, Maus, Medh, Asti, Majja and Shukra. All these tissues are maintaining the protection, the nutrition, the maintenance, maintenance of the body framework, maintenance of the structure, helping to the bioenergies to giving the support to the media. Bioenergies cannot work without support, without media, without infrastructure. Do you understand? We are living, we are living our family life, but we should have some shelter. We are enjoying our family life in the house. So house is the medium to enjoy our family life. We are enjoying our career. We are enjoying our career, but career has required some framework that is our office. Do you understand? So my dear friends, the tissues are like the framework, are the, like the infrastructure, are like the supporters to our body energies that is Vata, Pitta and Kapha. So that is the word through Dharayati to maintain, to protect, to give the support for the body functions. Dhatus are very important. They are from birth to death like the bioenergies. Of course, some, some tissues are developed at a very earlier stage. Some are developing from birth to death in an equal quantity, in an equal, what you can say, the quality. But some are developing very slowly and gently. For example, our Majja Dhatu brain functions are developing step by step after birth. We say that a child is, will develop its full brain, its full intelligence, full nervous tissue mechanism at the age of 4 or 5 or something like that. Similarly, Shukra Dhatu, for example, is there from birth, but it will slowly show its main action, main, I am saying main action of reproduction, developing the new progeny, developing or converting the child into the adult male child into the adult female so that conversion takes place at the time of puberty that's why the main arch starts at the age of 14 5 16 and that's why the marriage age is depend on that particular phenomena of conversion of the child into the male conversion of child into the female that converting stage is occurring at the puberty and then the shukra dhatu is functioning at its fullest but whether that means that Shukra Dhatu was not there at the time of birth? No, that is wrong. Try to understand my dear friend, Shukra Dhatu exists from birth to death. We are talking about Sreshta Karma or the topmost function, supermost function of each Dhatu. What is that? Prinanam, Jeevanam, Lepaha, Sneho, Dharana, Purane, Garbhot, Padascha Dhatu Naam, Sreshtam Karma, Kramat, Smrutam, Kramat, sequentially. Prinan is a function of Rasadhatu. Jivan is a function of Raktadhatu. Lepana is a function of Mausadhatu. Prinanam, Jivanam, Lepa, Snehana is a function of Meddhatu. Prinanam, Jivanam, Lepa, Sneho, Dharana is a function of Astidhatu. Purana, feeling anxiousness, is a function of Majjadhatu. And Garbhot, Padana is a function of Shukradhatu. Here, one needs a quite great explanation. Try to understand. Because there is a confusion. 
if the garbhotpadana is a main function of majja dhatu i am sorry shukra dhatu sleep of tongue i am sorry if garbhotpadana is a function of shukra dhatu then shukra dhatu can start or enter into the body at the time of puberty but it is existing at the time of birth that's why i am expanding this term of garbhotpadana garbhotpadana has a symbolic meaning of course one is a word to word meaning garbha is a fetus so formation of the fetus the development or creation of the new progeny is a function of male gamete and female gamete that is very true spermatozoa is needed ovum is needed that is true after the union of spermatozoa and ovum we call it as a conception conception takes place and pregnancy starts and intrauterine development of fetus starts so development or the creation of the new progeny is a function of the spermatozoa and ovum union that is very clear no doubt about it and that is should be the main function to carry forward our generation that is true but shukra dhatu is existing at each cellular level remember this word shukra dhatu activity shukra dhatu properties shukra dhatu type of the material is existing at each and every cell and that is under the control of shukra dhatu remember testosterone is a part of shukra dhatu hormonal secretion and its function estrogen and progesterone are the parts of actions of shukra dhatu shukra dhatu concept is very wide very vast you cannot label only testosterone is shukra dhatu only spermatozoa is shukra dhatu only ovum is shukra dhatu only estrogen shukra dhatu no that's a part and partial of vast understanding of shukra dhatu now i am giving you the most important subtle aspect of shukra dhatu that is called as a germination process try to understand this word 100 times shukra dhatu should be compared with germination process in the human body shukra dhatu should be considered as a germinal process germination wherever it may be it from the brain cells it may be the liver cells it may be the kidney cells it may be the lung cells it may be the bony cells everywhere there is a wear and tear remember my words everywhere in each cell there is a wear and tear there is a degeneration from birth to death i have already explained you in the childhood anabolism is more regeneration is fast and more and sustainable in the middle age both anabolism and catabolism equal level so whatever we are gaining we are losing but our body is maintained but in the old age catabolism is more more fast than the anabolism and that is why we are losing our body tissues we lost some hearing we lost some our vision we lost some our taste we lost some function of the heart we lost some function of the lungs we lost some function of the kidney why why in each cell degeneration is going on more than the creation or anabolism that is why step by step shukra dhatu is also losing its function in the old age are you getting my point shukra dhatu is for genesis germination new development new generation of the each cell rbc is old rbc is destroyed at 120 days rbcs are destroyed new rbcs are coming who is responsible okay there is a ranjak pitta okay there is rakta dhatu but shukra dhatu is responsible for erythropoiesis as well something shocking for you huh? but what i want to say in each cell whenever there is a germinal epithelium whenever there is a germinal process genesis process that is under control of shukra dhatu because that is the essence of all the body tissues ras rakta maus med every time there is a process with the agni that is dhatvagni tissue fire tissue enzymes are working every time and so the shukra dhatu is the finest the best number one tissue of our body which is taking care of all previous tissues 
Remember these words. So Shukra Datu, it should be very, very qualitatively and quantitatively perfect. Then only we can sustain our good life, quality life and long life. If our Shukra Datu is disturbed, then I am not sure whether your heart will function well. I am not sure whether your kidney will function well. I am not sure whether your pancreas will sustain its function. So Shukra Datu is needed for the normal growth, normal genesis of each and every cell. So whatever the things going on for the germination, for the genesis of new cell, it is somehow under control of Shukra Datu. And that is why it is our duty to protect our Shukra Datu. My dear friends, I will suggest very simple two things. One cup of milk every day is necessary for maintenance of our Shukra Datu. Remember my words. One cup of milk every day. That will take care of your all tissues for genesis. Single, single, another important factor. One spoon of cow's freshly cooked ghee. Only one spoon. I am not giving you the what you can say the burden, only one spoon of ghee is also very much important for the normal functioning of Shukra Datu, that is the Garbhot Padana. Garbhot has a two meanings. One is a word meaning, is a fetus, that is correct. Another symbolic meaning is a genesis of each and every cell of the body. My dear friends, I hope you have understood this new aspect of Shukra Datu and you might have been liked it. I wish all the best. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.